Hi folks, back on the trotter van. I want to clean the underside off, get some fiberglass repair works, so let's bring you along for the journey. See you in a minute. Right, okay then, well I've been scrubbing this and cleaning the bottom half, I've still got lots to do, but there's also some fiberglass work to do underneath, and a little bit of paint's got to come off at the bottom of the rear bumper. Let's just show you what I've got to do. Right, well as you can probably see from the lighter segment all there, I've actually cleaned the, most of that down, the back segment's still got to be done, but before I do that, there's some repairs and some paint to come off. As you can see around the bottom here, I've still got the paint to come off there, which I'm going to be taking off in a minute. I've got some repairs to the uh, lower skirt as well as you can see there. We've got this repair to do there, and also the rear wheel arch has got to be repaired. And coming around the actual body, and just finally have one look around the whole of the skirt and do any necessary repairs. As you can see, these were the side repairs which I did before. As you can see, the fiberglass is set rigid now, and that's what I'm looking for all the way around. These ones here have got to be finished off, obviously, but um, as you can see, I've got the fiberglass strengthening uh, panels behind them, and then we fill over the top with the Isopon P40. But having a look underneath now, we're virtually there now. There's a couple of little bits to do. There's another little crack on the front there, as you can see. So these little sort of things have just got to be done. But first of all, I've got to clean everything off of here and then that'll be ready for paint. I've, I've decided to go to, uh, for a gray paint underneath. And the reason being, if we actually look inside here in the engine bay here, this is a gray type of paint anyway. So I was going to stick with that and that would sort of give it some sort of original look. So it's going to be a 1K paint I've ordered uh, the paint for this and I'll probably I won't spray this on I'll probably either paint this on or roll it on and get a smooth texture that way because this is a very textured finish anyway but once it's on it will be actually protected the, the underside which it hasn't got from new so that's what I'm going to do now so I'm going to get on with these little jobs and I'm going to put you on time lapse with a little bit of music so that you can enjoy it so I'll see you after I've done that Okay, so I've got most of this done at the back now. I find the easiest way to clean the dry stuff is getting a scotch bright pad and just sort of agitating it. And then once you've done all that, just brush it away. Obviously you want the dust mask on for that. But as I've been doing the back section here, I've just pulled this off here, where someone's obviously tried to repair the rear hinge at some stage, because this is a weak point on the, the big back doors on these open sides, as you know. So someone's obviously tried to put some sort of plate in there behind the hinge bracket and I can actually see another bit of plate in there as well. Well in actual fact no that's a squash filler actually look so they just use body filler. Their body filler is never going to hold anything when it comes to a big heavy door like that and even this little thin which looks to be a steel plate I'm not too sure it might be aluminium actually I'm not too sure but uh, all they've done there basically as you can see is just dabbed one bit of body filler on the top held it in place and then probably bolted it down, but that's never gonna hold anything, as you can see, because it's just fouled and collapsed. So what I've got to do, I'm gonna put some sort of strengthening plate down the back here, and then fiberglass it on as well. So that's the way I'm gonna be repairing it. And bearing in mind, I'm in this situation, on the side of the vehicle, where the vehicle's on its side, I've got much more access than probably they did anyway. So uh, that's the way I'm gonna be dealing with that. So as you can see, I've done this bottom half now. I'm just finishing this lower quarter off here now. All this has basically been degreased. I will go down the creases again because these are pretty hard to get to with some uh, white spirit just to dry all that off and then basically once this is dried off this is uh, ready for paint so I'm happy with that uh, I've just got the top section to do there in this little rear compartment there and this compartment down there as I said to you and then I can start finishing off the repair so I'm just going to get this done now and I'll see you once I've finished all this right so I've got the old 80 grit sandpaper out now and I'm just taking off this remaining paint that was left on there which I couldn't really gain access to when I had the van the right way up just makes life a lot easier and as you can see it comes off easy enough anyway so all this is doing is just literally revealing the uh, gel coat here 
and all I'm going to do is look for any hairline cracks there which I can sand out and also any other small repairs which I did come across uh, which I obviously are going to need to repair. So now it's time to get the old Dremel out. The old Dremel, very handy tool for doing fiberglass work, so much easier than uh, doing metal work. But uh, as you can see, I'm just cutting the slots a little bit bigger here. It's no good leaving hairline cracks in and trying to repair hairline cracks. Make them a substantial size so that you get some decent filler in there and also get some fiberglass behind them to give them the strength. And on the corner here, as you can see, I had someone's filled this previously with some body filler and typical uh, thing with body filler, it will actually just leave a, a crack line there because it's a different material than the actual fiberglass. So I'm just taking this old bit of uh, body filler out. I'm going to put some fiberglass behind it uh, and then obviously I'll fill over the top with a P40 and that will make a totally strong joint. Just like this one here, as you can see, someone's actually filled this with P40 before and it's not worth me removing that. That is an excellent strong joint, so I'm just going to be leaving that in. And again, not too many cracks on the bottom of this. A lot of these happen when, when we were sort of turning it over. So you just got to be very careful. Right, okay then, so we've done a lot of cutting out there. Just of all the little slots and all that. Let me show you around it. So things like here, I've left this bit in here. This is really solid fiberglass, which someone's actually done before. So I've decided just to leave that bit in corner bit there obviously was filled with filler and typical thing you get when you use non-light materials you saw the split line there around the joint so I've had to cut all the filler out and I'll fill that with uh, some fiberglass resin uh, and put some fiberglass behind it at the back to give it some strength so things like this where I've had to go around just open up the slits because it's pretty much impossible to try and repair a tiny little slit I'll go around the back there with some fiberglass as I've shown before and then go over the top with a P40. Just like this slot here as well, I've opened up that slot there. This is gonna to have to be rear fixed up there, as you know. I'm gonna fix this first before I attempt to actually do this repair here. Now, again, I was toying with the idea of opening this up and putting in a big piece sort of thing, but I'm not too sure yet whether to, because there's a big overlap on, on, on the actual underside of it there, I may just sort of layer this with some fiberglass matting on the inside there and fill this up with the uh, P40 and then just like clamp it together and hopefully I would have uh, imagined that that would have uh, made a real solid joint. Give us your opinion on that or whatever you think, um, as I say, because uh, that's something I'm going to be looking into after I've actually supported this lot here. Going around the rest of the vehicle, it's all been cleaned now as you can see. I've just scuffed up this middle part there uh, just to sort that little bit out there. Coming around to the front bumper, I've uh, just trimmed up this uh, straight bit there which I've actually repaired as you know and literally things like this again I've just gone around and opened up the slot and that just means fixing these little slots and the remaining little holes there and then basically that's it I've cleaned all the underside now that will have one final wipe down for when I get the um, paint I've ordered the paint as I said here so these little repairs are the next step I'm going to carry on and do these so that I can get to the next stage which will be painting the underside so I'll see you in a minute Okay, I think that'll do for the moment. I've set that up now. I've got some old cans of coke there to hold it down. I forgot my clamps. That's one of the problems with working away from your own tools, basically. So uh, I'm gonna let this out now. I'm gonna have my lunch. Sharon's just popped down. And she's brought me a lovely salad. And your baby. Yeah. Come and say hello to everyone. Look at the state of me, baby. I've been working. Hey? Come on. Come on. Come on. So you brought me a lovely salad and a nice uh, drink as well. So I'm gonna have that now. Oh, it hurts. I didn't burp. It's only onions. Yeah, it stinks. Oh, well, I'm going to catch an egg in there as well, by the way. I know that. <laughs> right, okay then, so we we'll call this a little... Call update. It, eh? It's an update. Just a little update one on the trotter van, yeah. So uh, we're getting on with it now. Hopefully, the next time we do a video, we should be painting the underside uh, in its grey colour, ready to turn it back over again. So I've got some fiberglass and rubbing down to do 
before that, as you know. So I've also been around the front here, filled in these little cracks at the backs with some fiberglass. And I'm just gonna let this go off now, have something to eat. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Thank you.